dainty, dainty tree. Look at the leaves. They're all so like delicate and small and so bush like. It's such a lovely tree, Doctor. Is yeah, it ornamental? It's an ornamental tree nowadays used, but it is from originally from our uh, evergreen forest uh, known as uh, Mesua Feria. It's the scientific name of the tree and uh, 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 it's a medicinal plant. Look at the back side of the tree uh, uh, leaf, it looks whitish and the tip of the leaf they are just like arrow headed leaves are there and the entire tree uh, has a very good uh, canopy shape. Leaves are pink in color and they are drooping down in the beginning because they don't have strength. Later on as soon as they come in contact with the sunlight and all that they slowly start getting green and become stiff as you see uh, the grown up leaves are, leaves are white in color with in the center a bunch of yellow color anthers and it is known as Nag Kesar. It is one of the medicinal plants used in Ayurveda. Yeah, yes. definitely. Oh, uh, I thought of uh, much. Tree, identification tree is good. Uh, this together. is the bale tree. It is called uh, scientifically known as agil marmelose. The marmelose word itself shows that it is used as a marmalade for preparing the marmalade. Oh. The three it's a very uh, important form from re Indian religious point of view because the leaves which is called a bilva patra is being offered to Lord Shiva. Uh, for uh, celebration and for puja uh, the fruits uh, they are size of a cr uh, cricket ball when they are young uh, if they are consumed uh, it's a work as a good appetizer when they ripe they have sticky substance inside which is uh, sweet uh, and uh, looks like a marmalade by itself without preparation of without any preparation so have you tasted and, it huh? have you tasted and, the fruit yeah yeah and have it is sweet in taste okay. and it is very good for many stomach problems oh. you can see at the base of the tree uh, they have shown uh, grown some few plants which are herbaceous in nature and growing as a trailers uh, uh, on the ground this becomes a very good example for uh, reducing the evaporation of the soil nearby oh. the tree by which you can cover the uh, and reduce the evaporation of water. Tree and uh, doctors obviously going to tell us more about it, but yeah, it's a lovely massive uh, tree. Arjun tree mostly will find near water bodies in nature. It's a huge tree, and if allowed to grow, it can grow up to 70 80 feet tall. Uh, uh, scientifically, it is called as a terminalia uh, arjuna. Uh, why terminalia? Because the leaves at the terminal ends of the branches, and that is why it is called terminalia. Uh, the speciality of the tree is that most of the species which belong to Terminalia, Terminalia group they have a very uh, important feature which helps the student of botany to identify the particular plant. You will find two glands over there at the tip of the, uh, at the base of the leaf. Most of the Terminalia they have these two glands at the base of the uh, leaf and that is how this Terminalia can be. And when you look at the flowers they are white in cream color and they are in bunch uh, when they uh, get converted into fruit fruit is woody about like this five angled and with the help of gusty wind it get carried away 
and then when, wherever it falls and it gets water, the new uh, plant will generate from there. Uh, uh, in northern part of our country, you will find this plant, uh, especially uh, the Madhya Pradesh and all that, you will find that this plant is very common in the uh, forest area. Uh, if you want to see this plant in a very good state and huge tree, you can visit Virjijamata Udyan. There is a big tree of uh, Arjuna which is there. The bark of the tree which is white in color uh, is used as a medicine uh, in cardiac problem. And the medicine which is prepared from the bark is called Arjuna Arist uh, in, uh, in the Ayurvedic terminology. Uh, since it has a white bark, there is another species of the same terminalia which is a timber plant that is terminala crinulata. So that is called as ain in Marathi and this is called as a pandra ain because this bark is white. That is why it is called as this tell me many stomach problems. Cover. If you want to have a tree, don't have this one because it's got really sharp, pointy features on its bark. So let's find out more. Oh. <laughs>